Hey everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about uh, how to add a few more pages to our theme like an uh, archive page, a 404 page, and other pages like that. Now before we do that there's one other thing I'd like to say about comments. Uh, some of you may have noticed, and I think I actually mentioned it in the last videos, if I, reply, if I say I want to reply to this comment, it, the page has to reload and it just gives me a message down here that says leave a reply to admin. While that works, and if you hit submit it will actually reply to it, it's not that user friendly and WordPress actually comes with a built-in functionality to um, make Ajax comment replying um, which is much easier to use than what WordPress gives you right now and it's actually pretty easy to go pretty easy to do I'm sorry uh, go into your um, your header.php file and really just before the end head part we actually want to add two things First, we're going to add this. This is in PHP code, saying if the page is singular, is singular is a function that returns either true or false. If the page is a single page page, like a post, then we want to add the script to the page, comment reply, and that's just um, something that WordPress has in its core. WPNQ script. That's a function that basically puts. Uh, a script on a list of scripts that WordPress has to print out before um, processing the page. However, WordPress won't do anything right now because we have to add something to our template and that's called WP head. This function basically sends out all the scripts and any other um, code that any plugins may have added that it wants printed out like right before the end of the head. This is important to have in your theme because if you don't have it then you may have some uh, compatibility issues. And while we're adding that, we want to do the same thing to footer, except this time we're not going to add uh, that. We're going to end PHP uh, WP footer. And that will add any script at the bottom of the page, because some plugins want it there. Um, but you have to have both of these in your theme in order for, it to, for um, many plugins to work. So actually, let me... Okay, let's reload this page without any of the... Uh, reply to comment stuff in the URL. Now if we click on reply, the pop the box pops up right under there. And you can even click here to cancel reply. And so let's say this is a reply live. Reply and is sorry. So if we submit that comment there you go. It's another it's a reply to this comment. Um, now you have to be careful about the ID names of your form values down here um, just because WordPress may um, not see them when it's adding the script but uh, as long as you followed what I've done in this tutorial you should be fine. Now on to what, what I actually wanted to talk about in this video and that's um, a few extra pages. First one I want to talk about is the actual page page. Um, basically this comes up whenever you have a well a page as opposed to a post right now the page um, the page page uh, just uses the main template which I don't want because you know that doesn't have any comments um, options so if we view one of our pages right now this is what comes up it has a link to the page and no comments because that's what comes up on the home page remember so let's change that what really what you can do if you're making a page template is you copy your single.php and we're just going to rename it to to page.php. And if we and there's a few things in the file that we need to change, but overall there aren't uh that many differences in between the single page file and the uh the page page file. Now if, let me just get my notes. Okay, so we want to get rid of posted at and posted by because pages just don't have that information. It's the point is to have content not to show when they were posted by. Pages also do not have tags or categories, so you don't need that either. Pages aren't organized by uh, previous and next, so you can get rid of that line. And that's really all you need to change. Although notice that you don't have to include this PHP comments template if you want your page to um, not be commentable. Some themes do that, some themes don't. I know by default the original Kubrick does not. So now if we reload our page, now it looks a lot more like the um, the uh, 
single post page than the home page because there's no link there and there's no link to the comments but it also has a few of its own features like the fact that it doesn't have the tags but it does have the reply form uh, and the next file I want to talk about is the 404 page now you really can just copy that over directly from Kubrick and I'd like to show you on the home page what it looks like but I really don't know when that's ever used so we're just not gonna deal with that right now Next p thing I want to talk about is your archive.php. I'm going to copy that into the theme and then explain it. Now this starts off like any other page with get header and get sidebar. But down here is where we deal with um, the, mainly the heading of the page. Let's say, let's go into my dashboard. I think I can get it through there. Um, basically, this archive.php uh, shows whenever you have a list of a category or... Um, Okay, sorry about that. I need to figure out how to get to the category pages because we don't have widgets yet that let us have easy access. You can just do it by uh, clicking on the categories list on the post. So here's an example category page. This is the only uh, thing I had under plugin new, so let me just pick another one. Let's say category 2 because this is just a demo site and I have things like that. This will list all of the posts in category 2. But in order to get that archive for the category 2 category, we need to do some fancy, uh, well not fancy, but it's pretty easy. Just note, this down here is exactly the same as what I have on the home page. You can just copy that right over. Same with the navigation, the not found. Mainly, the only thing that we have differently is uh, between the if posts and the while we have posts, uh, we have this content. Now, this uh, basically takes a look at what is the user searching for and changes the heading based on that. Uh, we have the art if, uh, okay, here we go if is category that's saying if the page is a, in a category if we're displaying the post in a category we ha we display as the page title archive for the and then that's a quote and then single cat title that's basically the category that we're searching for now we have else if it's a tag that we're searching for we have single tag title and it displays post tag that um, now the next three functions have to deal with years where we have uh, if it is a day that we're searching for, because you can search for posts on one day. We've archived for the time. I believe I talked about that in another video. I recommend looking on the PHP documentation for values there. And the same thing for is the month and is the year. That will display the month, comma, year, month, day, year, and that will just display the year. And also you can sort posts by author. Um, so if it is an author we're searching for, then we have an author archive option. Or you can just look at the regular archives, which is basically if we haven't gotten anything else out of these values. And also, if we can't find anything in there, it'll show the uh, not found down there. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show you is the search, which is, again, this is not, there's not much you have to do for this. So that's why I'm just copying it over to explain. Um, basically, it's, <clears throat> as the page tile, you just want to say search results for and PHP the search query. That's all you have to do, and the rest is, again, copied from the home page. Although I did change this to no results found, try another search. Get search form will show the uh, search form again. Uh, really, you'll only see the search form when you're on the sidebar. Um, however, I think some themes can implement it as a main option. Uh, I don't have it in this theme. Uh, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. As for a few other pages, uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how to add a sidebar to your theme. So I'll see you next time.